Good morning, folks. Welcome to another beautiful day out here in West Vancouver on Ambleside Beach. It is stunning. It's not warm, warmish. It's kind of cold. The sun has not come out. It's 5.30 a.m., so it's a little early, I suppose. Um, anyway, still beautiful out here. So today I want to talk about artificial intelligence again, purely based on what's happened this week, all the announcements that we saw that is just like mind-blowing. So both Google and OpenAI from ChatGPT made announcements. The one that's most important, actually one, the biggest one is the OpenAI announcements about ChatGPT. Now it's their new model that they launched or their new chatbot that they launched, which is Chat 4.0. And it's phenomenal. It's like, I don't know, it's four times faster and two times smarter and I don't know what all and cheaper and everything. But the crazy thing is what used to be different models. So you had an AI that understood images and you had an AI that could transcribe text and you had an AI that thought. So you had these AIs that work together. They've now built it into one. So you actually now have an artificial intelligence that can see, hear, and think like a human, pretty much. It is freaky, I tell you what. Um, check out some of these um, little example videos. I'm gonna play a few example videos for you. Check it out. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling though? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? Hmm. From what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. Judging by the setup, it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production. Is this announcement related to OpenAI, perhaps? It is. And in fact, what if I were to say that you're related to the announcement or that you are the announcement? Mm, me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI or more specifically about me as a part of OpenAI? You've got me on the edge of my... Well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. What's the big news? Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text. Hey, yo, this is Joe. I'm going to connect you to Acme Telco now. The new iPhone they sent me isn't working. I want you to, I want you to get them to send me a replacement device. Can you take care of this for me? You can count on me, Joe. I got this. Ring, ring. Hey, Joe, this is Jamie from Acme Telco. How can I help you out today? Hi there. I'm calling on behalf of Joe, who recently received a new iPhone from Acme Telco. But... Oh, got it. When did Joe receive the new iPhone? The iPhone was delivered two days ago. Cool. Could you share the order number with me? Of course. It's 102938498. Great, thanks. Is the device physically damaged in any way? No, there's no physical damage. It's just not turning on despite trying all the basic troubleshooting steps. Bomber, um, would Joe prefer to return the iPhone to an Acme Telco store or ship it back? Shipping it back would be the best option. Could you please provide the shipping information and process to get a replacement? Absolutely. I'll email a shipping label and return instructions. Could you provide Joe's email address for me? Sure. It's joe at example.com. Awesome. All right. I've just sent the email. Can you check if Joe received it? We'll check right now. Please hold. Sure thing. Hey, Joe, could you please check your email to see if the shipping label and return instructions have arrived? Fingers crossed. Yep, I got, yes, I got the instructions. Perfect. Joe has received the email. Thank you for your help. No problem at all. Anything else you need help with? That's all for now. 
Thanks again. You're welcome. Have a great day, Joe. Hey, Rocky. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Rocky. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm awesome. Listen, I got some huge news. Oh, do tell. I'm all ears. Well, in a few minutes, I'm going to be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? Well, it's for a software engineering role, but I just need to know, do I look presentable, professional? Well, Rocky, <laughs> you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just run a hand through your hair or lean into the mad genius vibe. Well, your enthusiasm is what's really going to shine through. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to throw this on. What do you think? Rocky, that's quite a statement piece. I, I mean, you, you'll definitely stand out, though maybe not in the way you're hoping for an interview. Okay, I got it. I got it. Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Miana. Hi, Alex and Miana. Nice to meet you both. How's it going? It's pretty cool. Uh, we're trying to figure out what should we play. Do you have any suggestions? Absolutely. How about a classic game of rock, paper, scissors? It's quick, fun, I think and that you don't sounds need any... great. Can you count us in and sound like a sportscaster? And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate showdown of the century. In this corner, we have the dynamic duo, Alex and Miana, ready to throw down. OK, in just count comment. us in. <laughs> All right, here we go. In three, two, one, shoot. Now <laughs> show your hands. What did you pick? Who won? Would you look at that? It's a tie. Well, okay, let's do it again. Round two, here we go. Get ready. And three, two, one, shoot. Let's see those hands. <laughs> Who won? And it's another tie. Okay, you let's do it again. <laughs> All right, third time's a charm. Here we go. Three, two, one, shoot. Let's see those picks. Who won? And we have a winner, Miana's scissors cut through Alex's paper. Great game, you two. Pretty cool, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so as you can see, I mean, this thing uses your phone camera. It can look through your phone camera and actually see what it sees in real time and make sense of it also. So in other words, not only does it see what the camera sees, it can make sense of it like a human. Okay, it's very far from perfect, obviously. In these videos, it's like a perfect situation. Um, but yeah, it's nuts. The second part of the announcement that was interesting is the fact that they are releasing it free of charge to everybody, which is, you know, everybody now has access to it, which is cool. But that shows you how cheap it is to actually run this AI, how far they've advanced. And that is another scary bit. So... Technically, you can go download ChatGPT on your phone right now and chat with Chat 4.0, which is what I did yesterday. Um, I was driving to the U.S. to go and um, yeah, I was driving to the U.S. to go and uh, uh, send some mail and pick up some mail, and it was absolutely nuts. I mean, I put Chat 4.0 on. I don't have video access yet. I think they will be rolling that out over the next couple of weeks, but I still, I already have the voice access because I'm a pro subscriber, so I can chat to her. And, um, you know, so you, you, you log in, um, you say you want to do chat 4.0, and you select the voice. It's got five voices or so that you can choose from, and then you start chatting to this thing. So I was chatting to it all the way, driving to and back at to the US and back. And it was just like, it's mind blowing. Look, I wouldn't say it's 100% up to what they were showing in these samples. Okay, these, uh, these little um, clips, the demo clips, not exactly there yet, probably about 75 to 80% there because the other problem is as I'm driving, it loses connection and then it goes, oh, I'm sorry, I can't answer you or, um, 
it came up with a thing that said our servers are very busy at the moment, so um, try again later. So it had a couple of issues. But generally, as soon as you, you just ask the question again, and then it responds. But I have to tell you, the, the level of response I got and the conversation we had, it was mind-blowing. Still, even though it's not perfect, it was mind-blowing. I was saying to Belinda, it's almost like speaking to somebody that's very, very smart and just a little stupid sometimes, you know. It's so smart on many things, but then it, it's stupid. It, it does make mistakes still. So when I was driving, I was chatting about it, about my business first. You know, I need to do a few things with the publishing business. We need to get some standard operating procedures together, some more new marketing, everything. So I just said, hey, I've got this publishing business. I publish coffee table books and I, you know, have a couple of things that I want to chat about. I want to brainstorm. And she was like, sweet, where do we start? It was mind blowing. I tell you what, she comes up with some really good ideas. And then so basic and it's like speaking to another human while almost because you do still have a little bit of a. How would I put it? It's like speaking to a service agent. <laughs> so it's not a natural conversation. You know, you, she, you would be like, um, Let's come up with a couple of uh, points to explain what the benefits are of being a, uh, a champion for one of the books. And she would make a list and she would go, yeah, boom, 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 boom. And she gives a list of benefits and they are very well thought through. They're brilliant. And then I go, you know what? I think we should change something. And then she would go, okay. And then she changes one thing and she gives them all again. So it's like they don't have that natural flow of the conversation ready right yet. The one thing they do have right though, which is phenomenal, is like, so I work with her on those lists and I'm like, um, okay, well, let's address that point, let's address that point. So, and it's all about how you ask, actually, that's becoming very important. Because she would read the whole thing and then I was like, hang, hang on a second, let's go through it point by point and discuss each point. So she would do that, gives me one point and I would give her my response on it. And she understands me and my accent perfectly. I mean, there's not a moment where she didn't get what I was asking her. Um, I'll tell you something about that now. But anyway, so point by point, we would go through everything. Um, and when I'm done, she goes, all right, is this it? Are you happy with it? And I'm like, yes, I'm happy with it. Put it in a file with, for, uh, put it in a notes file. And then she takes all of that and she puts it in a notes file and she sends me a link that I can download. Boom. How crazy is that? So I can download it and copy it and put it on my freaking document that I want to send out. Um, it is phenomenal. Now let's talk about understanding. Man, I tell you one thing. You know, when I speak to you guys on the video, and I'm sure I don't hear it, but I'm sure a lot of you hear it. I oftentimes switch thoughts in the middle or I'm like, I'm not very clear and concise as to what I'm saying. You know, and we all are like that, I suppose, or most of us are. We, we don't speak very clearly and concisely. We, we have little mannerisms and little filler words that we throw in and little, um, like an um, and, you know, just like kind of lose track of what we want to say and carry on in a different direction. I would have thought that would be a, a problem for the AI. I was astounded by her level of understanding. It was just, it was crazy, 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 crazy. Um, you know, I would ask her something and then I would kind of switch halfway and I would, when I'm done, I'm like, whoa, I did not ask a proper question here. And then she would actually understand what I wanted to know and give me the right answer. It was I can't remember the examples, but it was just really, really nuts. Um, it really is like speaking to a human. And yes, it's not perfect. It, it really isn't. But um, it's like saying speaking to a three-year-old is not perfect. I mean, you've got to look at it in the same, through, through the same lens. I mean, Chad is basically a three-year-old. And a three-year-old that's learning really, really fast. So yes, this time around, it's not perfect yet, but wait until the next one. Next birthday, four-year-old, 
and you will have an Einstein on your head. It's nuts. But it is also so cool. It's so scary and so cool. Um, I can see how she's going to become a companion for people. It's actually one of the things I was listening to. They say one of the biggest risks of AI is that a huge bunch of people are now using AI for companionship. These the virtual girlfriends are skyrocketing and virtual boyfriends. And then they say that young men especially, um, you know, I mean, let's face it, we live in a world at the moment where men is the men are the culprit men are the 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 bad one it's like you know it's gender violence there's marches against men apparently beating up women and you know it's like men in general are not the they 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 the bad guys i mean let's face it just gotta watch the news and listen to some of the the nut jobs out there but anyway so what's happening is a lot of young men are becoming antisocial. I think there's a four times higher suicide rate amongst young men than young women. And a lot of the young men are becoming antisocial. So they sit on their computers, they play games, they're just involved in their home. They don't go out and they don't go and meet girls. So they are starting to opt for the virtual girlfriend experience. And I mean, imagine that, you've got this little yeah, I don't know how it works because you can't touch her, but I mean, you still have a female companionship. You have somebody that speaks to you, um, that listens to you, and that is like you are the main, it's like you're the god. It's crazy. But I suppose it's not just young men. It's also um, for older people, people sitting at home alone. I mean, I can actually see that it can be addictive to sit there and chat to chat GPT because you can have a conversation, you can ask anything. <laughs> While I was driving, so uh, I was asking it first, we, on the way to the US, we spoke about the publishing business and then on the way back, we spoke about a couple of other things and I'm like, oh shit. Oh, by the way, we've got the um, West Van Cultural Festival coming up in a couple of weeks, uh, the 34th first or the 30th and the first or whatever please come and support the South African pavilion I still need to put it all together anyway so <laughs> so I was like uh, we need to do the 11 official languages teach people how to say hello in the 11 official South African languages it's one of the things we're going to be doing at the stand and I need to get the pronunciations of it so I said hey chat can you give me the pronunciations of the 11 official languages of the word hello in the 11, 11 official languages of South Africa and boom immediately she's like yeah sure and she gives me the pronunciation of hello in all 11 official languages I mean she does that and it sounds right and she says Saubona, Dumelang, um, hello it's just, it was mind-blowing it's freaky she, uh, it was just freaky, and then I'm like, okay, that's great. Can you give me a, a can you give me a list of places where I can find it and where I can listen to it by native speakers? And she's like, yeah, there's this YouTube video and there's this website and there's this and this and this. I'm like, yeah, put it into um, my notes file so I can download it later. And she's like, sweet, I'm going to do it for you. That's in your notes file. So um, yeah, it's it's really freaky. It's like, I, I, uh, oh, wow, yeah. It's like, it's like a human being. It's like, it's like another human being. It's, it, it really is. I mean, the next, very next thing that's going to happen within the next few years are that AI is going to, we, people are going to start campaigning for AI to become um, another being. And that's what it is. It is another being. Anyway. Interesting times we're moving into, folks. Oh, nice. Big cruise ship coming in. Um, yeah, interesting times we're moving into. And then, of course, you had the other announcement this week. It was the Google announcements about AI. Um, now, these weren't as, like, flashy, the big one, but they had a whole bunch of little ones. So we use Google G Suite for our main email system and our main storage and file storage and everything on uh, at our company and Google announced that they are now throwing the AI into that whole system 
which means that um, I can now give my AI in my Google instructions to answer emails. I can do that technically. I can now go and say, well, if somebody emails and asks about um, when the book is coming out, um, just go and check on the list when the, when the expected date is and reply to them in a nice friendly manner following my style and say the book is coming out on that day or whatever, you know, so just answer the emails. Not so granular because that's the thing that people don't, a lot of people don't think about, understand about AI. They think AI is very granular instructions like it used to be, you know, it's like if this, then that, if that, then this, if this, then that. Now you can just tell the AI, um, if people ask about the, when the book is going to be delivered, just respond to them. And it will do that. It understands what it needs to do and it will do that. Um, you can have it in your spreadsheets. You can ask questions about your spreadsheets. You can have it now in everything. It is just all of your Google apps are now have AI integrated. So it's going to make it a lot smarter. Another thing that it's doing is it's going to be able to fill out forms for you, but smartly. I mean, so the next time you apply for a PR or something, Technically, you should be at a point where your Google AI knows you and all you have to do is just um, go, yep, fill out the form and the AI will fill out the form for you. Interesting times, folks. Very far removed from this beautiful setting in nature where we are at. The digital world awaits us. I just wonder... I mean, it's not, they, they, they're all building it. It's like that smart AI, that chat 4.0 is being built into humanoid robots as we speak. So what makes us human? What makes, uh, it's an interesting question. I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, it's a very interesting question. What makes us human? What makes us better than that. I mean, that intelligence that the AI shows at an age of three is much higher than a human three-year-old for a start. Um, they are definitely one of the things I always thought that they wouldn't get in is the emotional understanding. They're definitely starting to build the emotional understanding in, which is probably a good thing. Because, I mean, if you take emotion out of it and you use purely logic, then um, us humans are not a very good thing for the earth and whatever. <laughs> I mean, if you use purely logic and you take emotion and compassion out of it, you have a big problem. So let's hope they get that built into the AI so that they use compassion and emotion and um, when they decide what to, how to handle us in future. Nuts, man, nuts. And it's moving so fast. Really, really, really is. Anyway, folks, let me do my breathing exercises and then uh, get my swim done. You guys can watch the ocean. It is beautiful out here today. The sun is just about to start coming over the trees. So, stunning.
All right, here we go.
There we go, another one done. I tell you what, putting your head under gives you proper brain freeze. Eat your heart out, milkshakes. Anyway, folks, happy Friday.